I'm Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener, and it's that time of the year again. We're at the end of December, and it's time to sow some seeds under some LED lights. That way, in February, I could take them outside, harden them up, and then bring them out there to the garden and have an awesome garden this year. So this is basically how I do it. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to mix up some potting soil um, for seed starter. And what you're going to do is you're going to mix peat moss with perlite. And also include some worm castings in it. I already done that. So then you're going to go ahead and get yourself some bins. And you're going to go ahead and get yourself some pots. Now I do three across and one, two, three, four, five, six long. Because over here all these bins have heat mats in them. And the heat mats will be under it like that. They don't go all the way to the side. So all these will be heated. And what I'm going to start now... The first things that I do is I do my my peppers, some hots, some sweets, and eggplants. These are what require heating pads, and these are what take the longest to grow. And then next month, coming right up, then I'll do my other tomatoes and so forth. So for now, this is how I do it. Okay, got the potting soil. Now the potting soil, I went ahead and wet it. It's all moist. If I do this, a little water will come out and it holds a little bit. You don't want it saturated. You want it just right. So then I just take my seed starters, pots like this, Take one like this and just tap it down a little bit. So basically you do that because you don't you don't want to put the seed in it, then water it and the seed comes up. So if you just tap the top one like that, then it looks like that in the inside and you're ready to put your seeds in. Well, I'm going to fill up all those in that tray and then I'm going to situate them on the heating pads and what I'm going to do because I'm limited to the amount of heating pads I got I got one down there I got tissue culture banana plants on there right now blue java and over here on this one I have dragon fruit that I started from seed they're coming out real nicely and what I'm going to do with these, so I'm limited to space, is instead of just putting one in the center, I'm going to put one, two, three, four. One in each corner, away from the corner, but in. So when they start growing, I could just like dice it into four sections and have four plants that I can repot and then put on my light-in station and it doesn't need heat mats anymore so in order to do that I'll fill each up the same way I just go ahead and put in like that scrape off whatever pat it down remember you don't want it tight you just want to pat it down probably to that little lip right there And I'll do all these, and I'll do all those right there. And that's going to give me a bunch right now. It's going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 18. That's going to be plenty for my peppers. And if I need more, I have plenty of other bins already set up. So once these are in here, and once I put the seeds in, then I'm going to transfer them. 
onto my heating pads. And this is what my heating pads look like. Okay, I got a heating pad in there like that. They fit perfectly in these trays, by the way. And then I cut me a sheet of plastic like this. Even though these are waterproof, I don't want them to get all dirty. So I put a little piece of plastic that I cut right on top. It's a heavy duty garbage bag piece of plastic. I make sure the heating pad is in the center and it goes like that. Then I have digital displays and these here keep track of the heat. So I'll keep everything right around 79, 80 degrees. That's a, a really good temperature. For the peppers, I might raise it up to 83 or 85. But I like to know the temperature. If you use the heat mats without that, generally it's on the high side, about 85, which is okay. But you should always know what your temperature is and I use a little probe let me get it I moved it here somewhere give me a minute okay so when you use a heat mat and you don't have a temperature gauge normally it's on the upper side so just get yourself a digital meat thermometer and if you turn it on like that and just take it stick it into the soil that's going up to 80.8 .8 right now it may go up 81 degrees right now okay so that was 81 degrees anyways It's a good accurate way to know what temperature the soil is. So the whole pot will be a certain temperature. You can regulate it with this, which is off about a degree or two. And you can stick the thermometer in it, which is perfect. I use that for my turkey. It comes out good. All right. So let me go ahead and do all these up. And then we'll get to the seeds. Okay, I got two trays of 18 each filled up. And the reason why you want to make it moist when it's in the big bin and mix it, because if you put it in dry and try to put water in here, it'll overflow, it won't soak down. With peat moss and perlite, you want to wet it first and mix it up plus the powder goes all over the place do it outside until it's the right texture where you could pick it up squeeze it maybe a drop or two comes out but it's not soaking wet and you're probably going to ask me what type of peat moss i use and perlite i get the three cubic foot bags and the big bag of perlite so let's go out here and i'll show you what that looks like Okay, so I'm out here on my porch, and I picked up this peat moss right here at Lowe's. Pay attention to it, because I really like it. Okay, so this is the peat moss that I use. And this is the perlite that I use. Now, I always get the big bags, and I get a couple of each because I have a lot of pots and a lot of seeds that I'm starting that goes into a huge garden. So let's get back inside and start planting. Okay, so sowing the seeds is not that difficult. Um,
What you want to do is you get your seeds. Get yourself a pot. And I, remember, I want to put four. I don't want to put five. And I don't want to put one. I want one, two, three, four in the corners. So all you do is you go like this. You just make a little dimple. Like that. And it's going to be four seeds in there. So you take four seeds. One, two, three, four. And you just go ahead and put a little bit of dirt. Move your finger, a little bit of dirt. You could even like, you could even put one, two, three, four seeds and then with your finger, push the seed down like that and then push the dirt over it like that. And then when you're done with this, I have these little micro clips. I just clip it on like that. That way the seeds don't come out. And then what you want to do is you want to write down on these, you want to write down the name of the plant and it's going to get stuck in there like that so you know which variety is in what pot. Okay, and you want to utilize a graphite pencil like that. I use number 8B because when you write, it's dark. Now, the reason why you use graphite, if you use a Sharpie magic marker and you write it on here, the sun is going to fade it and you won't be able to read it after a month or so. But when you write on here with this, it's going to be pretty much permanent until you bring it in the house and use rubbing alcohol and you rub it off then you can reuse these okay so once these are sewed which i'm going to do then i go ahead and i set them on my heating pads i'll go ahead and give them a little bit of water a little bit more water and the way i water the seed are is I just take a water bottle and I take a cap like that I take a pin and I put holes in the cap and then I take the water bottle and I turn it upside down and I squeeze it and it shoots out a little light shower of water and the reason why I use that Instead of doing it like this, because if I use this, even with the, the rain on there, the sprinkle ahead, it will go into the dirt and it will unseat the seed. But when you fill this up and you squirt it like this on each one, all you want to do is get that seed wet. Remember, this soil is already moist. So you could wet it and it won't disturb the seed. The next way you could do it, and I don't do it because it's in there, is you could put water in these bins and it will wick up to the seed. But when you're utilizing heat pads, you don't want to do that. And you don't want to saturate it so it goes through and floods the bottom and, and wets the whole mat. And that's kind of why... I put down a little plastic too. It'll get a little on the plastic, but not much. So that's the best way that you could do it. So anyways, let me go ahead and sow my seeds and put all the labels on them. And I'll show you what it looks like when they're on the heating mats. Back at you. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Here's the pepper that I'm using. These are beautiful, by the way. I'm going to take out.
four seeds. I'm going to put them in that bowl. Going to put this on there like that and put it away. Now I'm going to write the name of it. Just like that. And I'm going to take me a pot. I'm going to put that in there. Now I'm going to take these one at a time. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can you see those? One, two, three, four. Okay. Now I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to push it in like that. Just a little bit. One, two, three. Three, four. I'm going to push a little dirt on it just like that. Okay, that's it. That's done. Just like that. So far, so far I've done those and i got a lot more to go. So, with that said, I'll get back at you. Okay, so I got a tray planted. They're all sewed, and I got my water bottle. Now I'm going to water, just like this. You see that coming out right there? Just like that. Can you see that? Pull this back more. I'm watering just like that. Okay, so those are water. Now, I'm just going to take them and put them into these over here. Right here. Okay, once again, the heat mats, the heat mats right there, piece of plastic, and I'm just going to transfer these just the way they are right there.
Okay. So all these are labeled and they're centered on the heat map. So I just put them up there and then I'll plug this in. That's it. I'm not going to do these right now. Um, I got lots more to go. So I just do a little B each day. I don't want to be standing here all day. So with that said, this is my growing station. It's pretty bare, right here. I'm starting to sell. By next month, all these shelves are gonna be full. You notice I have cellophane in the back. It's actually attic insulation. It's a reflectant and it's a heat barrier. There's windows behind there, so it doesn't let the cold air in, plus it keeps the heat in. And over here, I have another one. I flap it down if it gets cold, and then it's real hot in there. So it gives me a good alternative for what, of what I want to do. And of course, these are LED lights. They're all in sync, and they're plugged into a timer. And I have the timer come on first thing in the morning, like 4 o'clock a.m. And they go off about 8 o'clock. And I don't have to do anything. It's just automatic. Okay. Okay, so I got the thermostat set to 82. And everything's on the heat mac. And it's underneath the LED lights. All I got to do is wait for them to sprout. Okay then.